hurricane season is officially upon us. And in case you're wondering what the dates are for hurricane season, it is officially June 1st through November 30th. So welcome to hurricane season of 2021. We're going to go over what the predictions are for 2021 and how you can prepare for a safe hurricane season. Before we jump into that, I want to introduce myself. My name is Brandy with Matheson Klein Group. I'm a local realtor here in Florida. And uh, Central Florida and Florida in general is a very big hot spot for hurricanes. And so we want to make sure that you are adequately prepared. Before we move forward, be sure to check out our uh, website at brandysells.com and also be sure to click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This year, NOAA is uh, predicting that the hurricane season is going to be about 60% above average. And so with that, this is what they're predicting as far as the number of storms that we are predicted to have. So for 2021, they're predicting anywhere from 13 to 20 named storms. Now named storms, those are going to be anywhere from 39 miles per hour or more. Out of those 13 to 20 named storms, they're predicting that six to 10 of them could become hurricanes. A hurricane is a storm that is 74 miles per hour or higher. They are also predicting that there could be anywhere from three to five major hurricanes. Now, major hurricanes, the mileage starts at 111 miles per hour and goes up. So what do you need to do to prepare for hurricane season? First and foremost, um, I personally have been in Florida now for over 20 years, and uh, we've had some seasons that have been extremely active where we've had, you know, storms that literally have come right through. The eye of the storm has come right through our city. And then there's others where, you know, it's missed us or it's been in different parts of the of the state. And what I can say for certain is that we typically will have a few days notice, but the minute that we start getting that notice, uh, then typically some of the first things that everyone is a frenzy for is um, getting gas and then also going to Home Depot and Lowe's and um, they are buying generators, they're buying um, plywood and they're buying batteries and all of those different types of things. So I'm just going to encourage you to go ahead and get some of those things ahead of time. One of the other important things is to have a written plan in place. So well, some of the things that you're going to want to do and understand and realize is that when a hur major hurricane comes through or even a regular hurricane comes through, electricity can go out for several days at a time. And so unless you have a battery powered way to be able to charge your phone, um, I think that it's going to be very important for you to have a written contact list with phone numbers and emergency contacts and important people. Um, that you need to be able to have um, access to in the event that you don't have access to your cell phone for whatever reason. Be sure to have at least one contact person outside of your uh, geographic location. So if you have a friend or family member that is out of state, I think it's important for you to be able to touch base with them, let them know if you're safe or if you, um, for whatever reason, have been majorly impacted, it's always good to be able to have that point of contact. Make sure that you're keeping all of your important documents together. So making sure that you have birth certificates, passports, um, debit card information, banking information, having um, a set amount of cash um, on hand as well, I think is also very important. Having your insurance information is also very important uh, when you are dealing with a hurricane. Make sure that you're sharing that plan with your family members. Another really important thing that you might want to take into consideration and doing it early on instead of as a hurricane is coming, because as a hurricane is coming, it's going to be too late and you're not going to be able to do anything, is to just do an insurance checkup. So check in with your insurance company, make sure that you do have your coverage in hand. And one thing that you may want to consider is getting flood insurance if you don't already have it. So in the state of Florida, if you're not required to have flood insurance, flood insurance is actually very affordable. And uh, hurricane coverage does not cover flood. Uh, so in the event that we have a lot of heavy storms and, and rain that's coming through and it comes in through 
uh, through your house, let's say with flooding streets or something along those lines, your hurricane coverage will typically not be covered uh, for that water damage. So having flood insurance is going to be very important. So I would just recommend that you contact your insurance company and see what the cost would be to get a flood insurance um, coverage for your home so, 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 so that you just know that you're covered on all bases. Another thing that you can start working on right now is making sure that you have a checklist of things and supplies that are readily available. These days, it's very easy to be able to um, either go to the store or order things um, online so that you have something in place. Um, making sure that you have enough medications on hand at all times, making sure that you have enough water and food supplies to last for you, your family, and your pets for at least a week's time, I think is going to be very important. You wanna make sure that you have additional cash on hand, making sure that your cars are always full and topped off on gas, and maybe even having a couple of extra um, tanks of uh, containers of gas available, along with if you want to be able to purchase a generator or something along those lines, in case we do run out of power, you're able to maybe still run your refrigerator or some fans because during our hurricane season, it's right smack dab in the middle of the summer, and it can be pretty unbearable when the electricity goes out for a week. You also want to make sure that you have extra batteries, um, making sure that you have lanterns and um, some ways of being able to see, um, a way to be able to charge your cell phone, and also having a radio so that you can stay in communication with what is going on outside in case you don't have any kind of electricity or anything along those lines. So those are all very, very important things that you can go ahead and work on and do now so that in the event that something comes along, you're not out there with the rest of the people that did not prepare and you are stuck with no supplies. Another really important thing to take care of as um, now, you could start on this now if you know that there's things on your honeydew list that you need to take care of, yeah. or if you know that a hurricane is out there and you're still a few days out, making sure that you're taking the time to secure all of your outdoor things. So that would include lawn furniture, that would include your grill, anything that's outside that could become a projectile, you want to make sure that that is secured. Um, also, making sure that you're looking up and seeing if there's any tree limbs that need to be cut back or anything along those nature that could possibly fall on your vehicle or on your home. You want to be proactive instead of reactive in those situations because how devastating would it be if you looked up, you said, oh, I really need to trim that tree limb and you end up not trimming the tree limb and it ends up falling right onto your car. What a mess that's going to be or, or worse yet, uh, falling into your roof of your house in the midst of a hurricane, that would be very dangerous and devastating as well. If you have the ability to move your car into a garage, that would be absolutely ideal. I know a lot of people in Central Florida, they use their garage basically for their basement space, but in this case, it is very, very smart for you to be able to try and park your car inside the garage. Another thing that you can do is you, if you feel that there's any areas of your house that water could come in, um, a very popular thing that people do is they go and they get sandbags. So they put those sandbags maybe in front of the door of their house or the sliding glass door on the back of the house. With hurricanes, a lot of times the rain is coming at a horizontal angle for hours on end. And so just being sure that you've got extra towels on hand in case you do find that there's water intrusion, being uh, proactive with sandbags. And then the other thing too that you may wanna consider is getting plywood or some type of um, wood to be able to secure the windows and doors if you are concerned with um, the projectiles and the what could possibly come through the windows. Now, if the hurricane is coming straight towards your path of where you live, then you wanna make sure that you have an evacuation plan in place. Uh, especially if you're living in a manufactured home or a mobile home or a, a, a house that has big trees over it that you just don't feel like you would potentially be safe staying there. You want to be able to find out um, where you would evacuate to. If you have pets, you want to make sure that you're bringing enough food and water uh, and also being able to find which shelters would house pets as well. You want to plan a couple of different routes because you never know what 
um, what routes may be blocked off and different things of that nature. Make sure that you have a go bag. So this is gonna include um, any supplies, toiletries that you need, all of your important documents, um, some extra food and water, and those different types of things that you wanna be able to put into your go bag with obviously a few changes of clothes and your battery charger for your phone. All of those things you wanna make sure that you have ready and don't forget. So I hope that this information is helpful for you to be as prepared as possible for hurricane season in 2021. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned for next week.